The protein is absolutely mediocre. You can't build muscle with this so-called protein. You shouldn't even call it protein. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it has been a while since I reacted to a vegan video. So I started browsing through YouTube, wondering what can I deliver to the audience? Which video would be worth reacting to? Thank God Unnatural Vegan just uploaded a what I eat in a day video a couple of hours ago. Let's have a look. So this is what Tyler and I have been having. So she starts with a disclaimer. I'm not a dietitian for vegan nutrition info. Check out veganhealth.org and the vegan RD, which by the way, I already checked out. Those are just a couple of so-called vegan doctors that cherry pick certain studies that confirm their biases. That said, the I am not a dietitian disclaimer is nothing but an excuse for you to promote whatever agenda you have. The I am not a dietitian in the subtitles won't stop you from promoting this malnutrition. Every morning for about a week or so, it is actually French toast inspired by the Greg Doucette What I Ate Today videos. He's always having French toast and I know I was like, yeah, that looks gross, but it made me want to try and make some vegan French toast. Greg Doucette knows how to build muscle. He's definitely proficient at building muscle. Is it necessarily the healthiest way to eat? Probably not. However, in Greg Doucette's case, he's using egg whites. In the background, I can already see just egg, an egg replacement. That's actually good which is possible with the just egg. This is yeah, I usually possible, but not nutritious. I don't use this stuff. I don't, you know, it's okay for scramble and whatnot, but like tofu is fine to me. So it's not, it's not worth the phytoestrogens are amazing. The, the price in my opinion, but for something like this, you know, you can't really use tofu for this and it's nice to have some protein. I'm sure you can make French toast, vegan French toast. I don't think I ever have. But uh, yeah, this is really this is really good for that because it actually has some. I don't think I ever have. However, for my what I eat in a day video where I show my audience what I eat as a vegan, I'm going to use a product that I haven't used before. That makes sense. Protein. What is it? Five five grams of protein per three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. All right, let's have a look. Water. That is good. Mung bean protein isolate. So just a supplement, mediocre plant-based proteins, isolated, no nutrition whatsoever, just a macronutrient, in this case, protein. Then we have expeller pressed canola oil, super high in omega-6s, will give you heart disease for sure. Then it continues with onion, with gum, yeah, that's great and healthy, of course. Then we have natural carrot extractives for the color, I don't know what's natural about that, but as long as you say natural, such as natural flavors, must be good for you, I'm sure. Turmeric, salt, soy, etc., etc. the same old gunk. Let's proceed. Five grams of protein per three tablespoons. Three tablespoons is supposed to be like about an egg. So yeah, I put uh, a cup of this stuff. So not necessarily cheap. One of these from Walmart is like 450. I think that's what I paid okay. for this. Um, a cup is like about half of this. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So a cup and about half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a little more than that. Uh, two teaspoons of Splenda, of course, in my formula container. Soy formula container. I don't know why we have powder. I think that creating soy boys one day at the time. Powder extract, whatever you want to do. Um, I use about half a, I use kind of a lot. Like, And here it is. I have my four pieces, toddlers, two pieces, which they normally toddlers. don't finish like in, in one. That's a great way to give the kids celiac disease. Go. That's kind of a lot for, for a little kid. Uh, I put butter on there. So the Miyoko's oat milk butter and maple. It's not butter. It's made out of oat milk. It's just yet again, a type of margarine it has nothing to do with butter. Butter comes from milk syrup and I just put maple Sad. syrup on mine. Uh, I also put sp some sprinkles on theirs this day because, you know, 
why not? Uh, I had some fruit with mine, some strawberries. The day before, I actually had a couple peaches that were good. I've been getting decent peaches, which is pretty nice. My. And I have my coffee with soy milk. Of course you do. And like a gallon of Splenda. I don't... Some Splenda on top because they're riding the sugar roller coaster. It is always the same thing. If you extrapolate the vegan idea, you end up like Durian Rider. And then all you eat is sugar. Once you start eating that much sugar, your pancreas is releasing insulin over and over again. Your blood sugar fluctuates during the day. It is absolutely terrible for you and it leads to hunger. Constant hunger that you cannot satisfy, especially if you combine this with a malnutrition regimen that is veganism and you don't have any animal nutrition. So what happens then is you're constantly starving anyways, plus you're riding the sugar roller coaster. This is a recipe for hunger attacks. This is why they resort to maple syrup, etc. And if that is not enough, you pour splendor on top just to trick your body. Sad. <laughs> Shot is, but I'm trying to... She's slowly but surely transforming into the Joker. He's vegan too. <laughs> Shot is, but I'm trying to like prop the camera so I don't have to hold it and die. Yeah, so that French toast, whoa. Why did it refresh? Okay, so yeah, French toast. I put it into a uh, chronometer. So it's nighttime. I don't know what happened. Just didn't feel like talking <laughs> to the camera. Just like, yeah, here's the food, whatever. Yeah, so today, man. I it's very unfortunate, but you can see that she's on antidepressants. It's this very socially awkward, strange type of humor that only people on antidepressants think it's funny. I've just been eating all day. It's just it's just oh, one of those days really? where just I've just been really hungry, been eating all day. I guess I'm like a... Really don't want to repeat myself, but I have to. It is because of your blood sugar. You're constantly hungry. Within the vegan diet, you cannot find those valuable animal nutrients. Yes, those are animal nutrients, such as D3, which is an animal hormone, cholesterol, creatine, etc. You cannot find it in the vegan diet. This is why you're constantly hungry. This is why you end up eating all day. Like a child. <laughs> like, like my kids, right? Yeah. Where they have like growth spurts and they eat like crazy and then... We'll have a few days where they eat. But this is of course not child abuse. When I decide to feed my kid nothing but sugar, it's not child abuse. That's all right. It's nothing. Sure. It's like, oh my it's God, you're going to starve. And then they just eat three days worth of food in like 30 minutes, you know. Did you hear what she just said? She said the children are starving and then they're eating a three days worth of food in 30 minutes. This is child abuse. This is veganism. I had uh, some popcorn. This was More sugar. like, I don't know, around two or something. I just really wanted popcorn. <laughs> well, the kids were supposed to be napping, but tiny baby. And another coffee, of course. Vegans are constantly exhausted. This is why they drink so much coffee. When you drink coffee, you release stress hormones, adrenaline. This is what is happening. Through that, you feel awake. Very, very simple. I used to be a big coffee drinker myself. I ditched it around about a year ago by now. And I know that the coffee lovers hate me for this. But let's face facts, guys. Coffee is a poisonous bean soup. This is what it is. It is a poisonous bean soup. And if you drink it, you poison yourself and then you secrete adrenaline. Adrenaline is a stress hormone. You feel alert. You feel awake. It is, of course, very, very unhealthy. Kids were supposed to be napping, but tiny baby is just being really awful when it comes to naps right now and just freaking out and not wanting to go to sleep and wanting to stay up and party and have fun. And we try to put toddler down. Before. Probably too much sugar as well. Or we put tiny baby down. So they were very angry. And so they stayed up later and I was hungry and I didn't feel like making a salad or anything. So I was like, let's have popcorn. So we all just had popcorn. And yeah, that was pretty fun. For Yeah, when your life choices are between popcorn or salads. Amazing. Let's go vegan, everybody. Tiny baby, because you're not supposed to give popcorn to like little kids i think it's like four or something like that because okay off to the next meal i can see the bag but i cannot oh i can't read it 
No, I cannot read it. It's just juice. roasted edamame with like salt. And yeah, it's just really, really bland. So what I do is I spray just like the- The mommy beans are simply soy beans. All she eats is soy and sugar. The tiniest amount that I That's can it. of, uh, you know, cooking spray. I just have like canola oil spray. I just spray a little bit on there to get it kind of, you know, wet and, and greasy. And then I put some seasoning salt on it. I put some Lowry's on it. Damn, so you put canola oil, again, omega-6s, on top of your soy. How are you still alive? And that is delicious. That is very, very good. It's super healthy. Edamame is so good. So much protein. <laughs> I don't even know how much protein is in like a serving. I think I- It's so hilarious. Unnatural Vegan is this rebel figure within the vegan community. She actually recommends protein. Meanwhile, the other vegans all advocate for low protein, low fat, high carb diet and she is the voice of reason listen to swayze she knows it it's so healthy it has so much protein first and foremost the protein is inadequate the protein is absolutely mediocre you can't build muscle with this so-called protein you shouldn't even call it protein it is lacking amino acids it's absolutely ridiculous no comparison to a simple egg or meat Never. And then take the fact that we are talking about a macronutrient. What is so healthy about a macronutrient? We need micronutrients. As humans, we need vitamins, minerals. We need micronutrients. None of which you will find in roasted edamame beans. Of it, a third of a cup or something. And yeah, it's a nice little healthy. I miss this salty snack i feel like i had something else that i oh i had some freeze-dried strawberries amazing i love freeze-dried strawberries why are they so expensive i mean i know the process is like a whole thing so yeah they're, they're very expensive but man they were on sale it's still super expensive like it was not still dumb they're basically candy to me like they could be a candy replacement if they were cheaper they basically are a candy replacement what else do you really think that wild strawberries look like those strawberries that you buy in the supermarket those things are bread they have a very very high sugar content much higher than anything that you could find in the wild therefore yes it is candy frozen strawberries equal sugar with a little bit of vitamin c i would absolutely use those as like a candy replacement they're so delicious to me <laughs> <laughs> Babies are just laughing. Uh, yeah, so toddler and I ate just a, like we just demolished an entire bag of freeze dried strawberries, which is like nothing. Probably because you're anemic. Every time somebody's anemic, they are craving something frozen. It's one of those tiny bags. Look it's it like up. An ounce or something, but still, in terms of like cost, that was that was a lot for a snack. Um, and then because I promised toddler that we would have some banana ice cream when we got home from our walk. I made some banana ice cream, just bananas, and some cocoa powder, and... I can't make this up. I don't know if it's funny, or if it's sad, or if it's both. You're just eating sugar. Now you're eating bananas, frozen again, because you are anemic, with chocolate on top. All day dessert day. And a little bit of soy milk to blend it, and some mini chocolate. And more soy, I forgot, sorry. Chips, and I think that's it. I honestly wasn't hungry at that point, but I can't, you can't make like a smaller amount for just the, just the kids. Tiny Baby actually didn't want uh, theirs, but. And why are you even lying? I wasn't hungry at that point. Yeah, you were hungry five minutes later. Uh, yeah, you can't, I can't just put like one banana in there. It's just not gonna blend. And then I made it and I was like, well, now I got it. <laughs> Now I gotta eat it, and I gotta put the chocolate chips on, you know. How, how could I so not? So relatable. Uh, yeah, it was good though. I, I honestly, I prefer it with uh, the peanut butter powder and banana blended up over the cocoa powder. That's kind of what I do with my smoothie, like my favorite kind of smoothie. Nothing that she eats is needed by the human body. Nothing that she eats is healthy for the human physiology. Bananas and peanut butter powder. I don't know why she does it. So yummy. It's pretty late, so that's that's probably all I'm gonna have. Ah, let's have a look. The supplement list. The multivitamin. So basically everything that you cannot get in your vegan diet, you try to get synthetically. Then, because there is no vitamin D whatsoever in plants, 
you have to supplement this one as well. She doesn't say if it is a vegan version. She doesn't say if it is D3 or D2. Then choline every other day. As we already know, very important for brain function. Many new studies coming out. Yes, very interesting that vegans experience brain shrinkage after years of being vegan. The reason is a lack of Choline and B12 occasionally. No big deal, guys. Just occasionally, of course, because otherwise you would die. And of course, she's trying to make DHA a regular thing too. We already heard about the solvents that are being used. Very, very toxic. Very, very bad. But what other choice do you have as a vegan? You have to live like a patient. I'm like very full, so. Full not satisfied i would still be hungry at this point and i would have a snack or something but yeah i'm i'm super 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 full mm -hmm. oh, i'll talk about my back real quick oh. all right and this is it i think this was a great video to kick off the vegan reaction videos again guys let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this video if so leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so if there are any other videos you want me to react to let me know that as well in the comment section and as always guys may god bless you much love and peace